Hello everybody and welcome to Escape the Iowoki, I think that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it. It's either Iowoki or Iowoki. I I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? I'm I'm an idiot. But I have to warn you, this game does contain a lot of flickering lights and epileptic scenes. So if you suffer from any sort of epilepsy, either click off this video or watch with caution. It also says that if you have a heart condition, this might not be a game to watch or play for you. So again, I put in the advisory, watch at your own risk. It's now in your hands and not mine. But right off the bat, I have to tell you, we have a bit of a change with this game. Not only am I hiding from the Iowalkie, whatever it is, it can hear me. I'm not talking about footsteps or knocking things over in the game. It can hear me through my mic. So if I talk to you guys, it can hear me and track my location doing just that. Like, in the instructions, I think it is. Uh, yeah. You have to escape the mansion, but in order to do it, first you must have to complete a few tasks. There are a few items that you will need to help you escape the mansion. You have to find them. Be aware of the Iowaki. He can hear you literally. He literally takes my voice and uses that as a targeted marker on me. Yeah, and then we have uh, hide spots, which we can then just use these icons to s tell whether we're safe. But enough delaying. Let us escape the Iowoki. Iowoki. So I don't know if I'm going to have to edit it where I put in subtitles of what I was thinking, or if I'm just going to mouth words to you guys and hope that you uh, get the right interpretation from it. And please don't tell me the game is crashing. It says it's loading, but I think it's crashing. Oh, wait, I hear crows. Oh, oh, I think we're in. As they do in all situations. So I think right now, oh, I should probably turn down the graphics because it's probably going to lag the game. So right now we're in a safe room. Uh, how do I... Wait. How do I... Okay, F is turn off my flashlight. Can I jump? I can. Okay. Always make sure you can do that. So, what? in order to hide, I think what we have to do is we have to go in here. And he can't get me if I'm in here, I don't think. And if I turn off my flashlight, I think we're fine. I might have to die so I can turn down the graphics. Oh, wait. Is there, like, a pause? Escape. Uh... On exit. Okay, I'm going to turn down the graphics quality just so I don't lag the game into death. Because I love Unity Engine, don't get me wrong. Unity Engine's one of my favorite engines to see. But the graphics, the good lord, just do hammer on your computer. It's, 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 ugh. Ah, coffee. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it said there's going to be rituals in this game, which make me think uh, we're dealing with some sort of cult. Iowake! I don't know if it's too early for it to hear me or what, but... Wait, now that I think about it, that might not be a good idea. Stick with me here, but if I have that playing, it can mask my sound, right? Because you would expect that. Wait. Did you guys hear that? There was something breathing. I don't know if I'm going paranoid, but I think I heard it.
it's too early for the Awaki to be around. So. I don't want to. Okay, I just want to say, not a lot of horror games get me, but with this taking my voice and using it against me, that terrifies me, and I love that. Okay, I think I gotta dive down this chair and be safe. Wait, this whole like row area is safe because I'm right there. Can I squeeze in? But now I think that I interacted with her. The Iowaki is now in play. So, yeah. Okay. And I also must warn you that my uh, software is telling me that we have a encoding overload. Okay, okay, okay. And I feel like... heard that right it was, it was something that went <laughs> it sounded like almost like a pokemon i don't know what that i think that's it was that it is it in play now why wasn't i given a warning hello Iowoki, are you there? Monkeys fly south for winter. BS. Now, I don't know if it can hear me and it's refusing to come towards me because it knows I'm safe or... I found it weird that I can sit right here and be considered safe. Something's clamoring. I hear it. I don't know if you guys can, but something's moving. And yeah, I want to be a brave boy and explore more, but I swear it's out there. I heard it. Okay, I didn't expect it to be that loud. Good God. But we got that drowning us out now. So I think they can help us, but they can also screw us. Because I can't really hear over this thing. Okay, um... I don't know if it can open doors. Can I hide in here? No. I'm gonna turn that off. Safety reasons. Okay, so I'm thinking we just need to continue down the corridor. That's all we need to do.
I know I've made very little progress, but... I just stumble upon. I mean, yeah, it's some sort of sacrifice, but what was with the pictures? It looked like Michael Jackson on speed. Why is there a door on the ceiling? So far, exploration is my best friend, and I don't know. I find it concerning because there's little segments where she'll talk to herself. And to me, that's concerning. Because I don't know if the Iowoki can hear that. Oh my god, my mouse keeps flipping itself. Okay, the music's picking up for some reason. It's a game more ominous. There's like ambiance in the background. I don't know if that means he's closer or... I'm gonna go this way. I awoke. Can you hear me? Are you there? Come to me. I don't believe you're real. Yeah, she keeps whispering to herself or something. Hey, Wokey, you know what you and the Brady Bunch have in common? You're both full of shit. Something just went thud in my hallway. Could have been my dog. Who knew a vase would stop this thing? Uh, again, I have no idea where I'm going. It's random exploration at this point, and I think this run is just us testing the waters. And I still haven't seen the thing. Like, where is it? Where are you? Follow the sound of my voice. What a cat. 
coward. He ain't coming. Oh, I won't. Crap, I just got a notification on my phone. That scared the ever-living crap out of me. Oh, sweet Jesus! Can it not hear me? Because I screamed at the top of my lungs and it didn't come after me. So I think we're in the clear. God, I'm going to need new drawers after that one. Gee, God. So, that's what he looks like. It knows, it knows, it knows! <laughs> Holy crap, it knew. Okay, I just want to say, my mistake, closing the door. It Once I closed it, it knew and was on me. Oh my god, where am I? Oh, a flashlight? Cult rituals? Wayne Brady? Wayne Brady's not here. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this on my own. And you know what sucks is, I ran a 5k on Saturday, and my thighs feel like there's barbed wire wrapped around them. And me flexing my thighs, it is excruciating pain. Alvin from Home Alone? Or is it Kevin? I think it's Kevin. I think that's Kevin from Home Alone. Alright, so this is a safe spot apparently. So I'm thinking anything I can crawl behind or under is a safe space. I just want to know, was that in Iowaki? Did they capture it and sacrifice it? And then this one just got out of hand? I don't know. Okay, I, I, I didn't want to speak. I wanted to just keep going, but I do have something to point out. I find it that the anatomy of this thing is very odd for a human. That it's able to perfectly crawl on its hands and feet like an animal does without any hazard of tripping. That means it has the right proportioned arms to legs to do such a thing. That to me is terrifying. Wait, do those boards have nails in them? Why don't I just take those out and lay them on the floor? Have this thing step in spikes. Have it cry for once. Okay, I don't like that.
Okay, that wasn't my fault. That was her fault. She decided to talk and say, just keep walking. She got me killed because she decided to talk. I was a quiet boy, and how is that not a safe space? I'm hidden behind a lamp. Oh, I'm going to shoot my voice out with this one. I'll give it one more try. I'll give it one more good old college try, and then I'm going to call it for this run. Because I feel, honestly, if I'm going to play this, I need practice runs. And I need to know where I'm going. Like, I don't even know if this game's going to checkpoint. I don't know if it's if I get something, it's going to save it for me, or if I have to remember where it was. Bitch, I'm back! Instantly kills me. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm still mad that that wasn't a hiding spot. What the hell? Okay, I don't, you guys can't see it, but when everything else is quiet and I click my flashlight, that causes audio uh, on the desktop audio bar. So I'm thinking that if I keep clicking it, it's causing sound and that lures it towards me. So me being the idiot last run, constantly clicking this thing was bringing it closer to me and that's how it found me. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of coffee. I don't know where it went. Okay, so that's the way we have to go. Or I could go over to where the lounge chair was and crawl through under there. But honestly, I think this is our best option. Since it's blind, I don't think light would affect it that much. Okay, I know where it is. Developers, how do you expect me to make progress when it's camping at the door? It's literally at the door camping right now. It's just going back and forth. And when it hears me, it just comes to the box and goes back to camping. I can't make it five feet without fearing that it's going to hear me. Or that she's going to say something stupid and get me caught. What am I to do? I can't make it five feet. I can't do anything. This thing's watching me like a hawk. Like... What is wrong with you? went face to face with me. It went face to face with me. It looked me dead in the eyes when it went face to face with me. Oh my God. Holy crap. 
I've seen a lot of shit in my days, but that takes the cake. I don't know if I heard that. My heart is bloating out of my chest right now. That last time just scared me. Okay. Um. Okay, apparently the stairs are made out of the weakest wood on earth. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna nest right here. Screw all y'all. I'm gonna camp. Okay. stationary and I'm stationary for too long she'll say something and that'll bring the Iwaki to me so it literally punishes me for camping and I have to keep moving what the hell did you step on literally can't make it out of this thing because it's causing so much audio like what how am i supposed to get out of this thing when everything is a thud and i can't even see if there's other safe spaces 
I don't care if you hear me, I'm safe. But the question of where do I go is very, very hard. Okay, she got me through the boxes. She can clip crap. Okay, that's fair. Oh, my heart can't take this. Yeah, oh my God, back to the menu. She's. I'm not done with you. I will return. I will get my crown. I will get my son back. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. This has been Escape the Iowa Walkie. I will definitely pick this up. I just need a lot more practice. I need to know what's safe, what's not, because I was clearly hiding behind those boxes, and she clipped through them. Oh, but thank you everybody so much for watching. Make sure to check out all the other stuff I've done. I do want to do more of this, but oh my god, my heart. It's literally like about to burst out my chest. Oh. See you all next. Church is still bit of escape the Iowa walk. <laughs> Bye guys. Oh.